there you go. Now, let's see. Uh, Note-taking skill. Okay, now we're going to go into more details about note-taking. Note-taking is probably the most important, right? So, today, most universities, right, and they, there's, they have a thing called study skill center. Okay? Okay? Now, the thing is, recommend that you move away from passive ideas of taking notes to more active okay, method of taking notes. Now you're like, okay, what are you talking about? Met, um, active and passive. Okay, passive basically means what? Okay. Active means we want it to be more what? You need to use your ideas. Okay? You can use graphs, pictures, right? Okay? Basically, you can have intellectual. Use your brain when you're taking notes. Summarizing your head, don't try to write word for word. Okay? Now, there are two different things. There's an intellectual and graphic. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the intellectual is. Okay? Intellectual note making skills include the following. To anticipate purpose, notice verbal cues, use abbreviations and symbols, connect relationships, compare and contrast, identify cause and effect, find the problem and solution, classify groups, define terms, record sequence. This is active, okay? Passive is not active. You can do it, but you can do it. 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 Verbal clues. I'm doing today. Okay? Because, right? Uh, rhetorical questioning. Well, does, does anybody know? How wind goes about uh, in a particular speed? That's introducing a main idea to a question, a proposal question, right? Okay, abbreviation symbol, you need to use it. Okay? Connecting relationships, we talked about this before. Comparing, contrasting, right? Global. So, identify cause and effect. Okay? And then, you know, problem and solution. Okay? okay you're going to find out what the problem is and why the solutions are there. Okay? Now classifying group, you're gonna say we're well, listening, oh this there are two there are two different styles though. And then you automatically put two different styles and you list it. Okay. Define terms. Okay, and these are your definition. These keywords go with is, are, okay? Record sequence. You go one two, two one two. How to put uh, how to assemble a microscope. Um, step one, step two, step three. Record those things, okay? And these are really important, okay? What kind of graphics? Graphics note making skills refer to the specific format or a style you decide to adopt. This may vary depending on your learning style, your purpose and your habits. Some options are, Cornell method, column form, paragraph form, concept map, mind map, Venn diagram, many others. Now, like I said, graphic, right? Uh, note taking has different ways, right? Now, graphic means it's basically how you note take on your paper. You're graphing it. You're taking, listening, and actually writing it down in an outline form. Okay. Now the most common one we, we mentioned was Cornell okay, method, right? The Cornell method, right, is basically uh, a, the take a look at it right here. Okay, this is Cornell method. Okay? And you can actually see up here, right? You have you have 2.5 and 2.5, and then you take notes. Okay. Now you can see for the main idea, major points, right? But why do you think we have the left hand side? At uh, two, two and a half, like a little bit, two and a half uh, inches away. Because if they refer back to it, you can put more notes into it so that it points to the right direction. It's organized. Okay? There are other forms, right? Let's take a look at uh, another form. Here we go. Paragraph form. Okay? You can kind of look at it, right? Now, this kind of looks like kindergarten, doesn't it? When you were a little child. Alright? Well, 
The other one is concept man. Boom. Okay. Ah, <sighs> good and any good. Okay, you could. You try to do this in TOEFL, right? Or or knit, right? They got a little Okay. I don't think this is the really smart bet. Okay. This is <laughs> more toward marketing. What has it? The other one is easy. The other one is probably my mind mapping. Okay. Take a look. You gonna order the order to do that also when you try to separate before you're writing, right? Probably more effective if you're doing your own writing and you use this. But taking someone that's listening and trying to put it in this way, it's really difficult. It, it, and something that you go to need to have to organize and then go. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Okay, Venn diagram. Okay, now Venn diagram, you gonna audition your cause and effect to my myself. Okay, or they have two items compare and contrasting. How count the number? What is it? The same thing can go. They got it. Yeah, you're gonna call it two times. So the best method when you go back, we're gonna probably is Cornell form. Okay, we get E Pumpsy to control people. Could go plus. What are we gonna do? We're gonna integrate David's method of listening. What is that? Okay, first of all, quick and easy listening. What is it? Anticipate purpose. Notice verbal clues. Okay. Use abbreviations and thin bolts. Okay. Connect relationships. Compare and contrast. Identify cause and effect. Find the problem and solution. Clarify groups. Define terms. And record your sequence. Okay. So that's probably the best way to do it. 이 방식이 제일 좋은 방법이에요. 